I'm coming in for the second check of the season. Today started out a little slow, and right now things appear to not be moving very much. See, it's still running in the 70s and low 80s. We need some uh, much cooler weather and some frost to kill off some of this vegetation before the uh, sign really starts to pop on the trails. And uh, we'll get the morning started and see what we got today, if anything. See you down the line. Well, first set of the day, nothing in it. And I'm going to go down through these sets pretty quick. And not just show a bunch of empty sets, but just looking to see if I can find places to put more. And uh, this is one I had the chest hair, or belly hair in yesterday. Nothing crawled up on it last night, so we'll move on down the line. I'm getting down my second set. I do have a nice big old neutral today right here on this set. And uh, we're on the board this morning. Second set, first catch of the day. And they'll keep moving. There's one. Always good to start off with at least one somewhere in the first set or two. We'll get on down the line. Well, I had a trap set right here on this pad. And uh, yeah, the trap's gone. I see the cable going out the back, but I see the nutria floating right over here. I'll get him pulled in. We'll take a look at him. Where's the two kitchens so far? And I got the set remade over here on this pad where they're climbing up and just sitting. I've taken a little bit of the uh, cherry put the cherry lure put up here so next one gets with that cherry come over here and check it out climb up and step in the trap but this is the third let's see yeah third set second catch so I'm gonna keep moving Getting down here to this next little pad set the traps missing off the pad and I think I see the neutral right there floating in the other pads I'll get him pulled in. We'll take a look at it in a minute. Well, there's the third one of the morning. Gonna keep on moving. I got the where the where I saw the most sign. I've still got those sets ahead of me to check. So three catches in the boat already. Well, miss number one of the morning. I do have hair in it, so it's just a chest fire, belly fire, whatever you want to call it. Didn't get no foot, so. I'll get it reset. Well, I was over here checking on that pad. But uh, the crawl out bush, they've got a. There you can see it. They got the little pad hollowed out where they're sitting. Had it anchored off over there. And the cable was down this morning, so I pulled, you know, it's. I put an extension cable on it so they can get out away from the. Uh, out away from the bush. I've got neutral number four in the morning. Get him out of the set and get it remade. Where's the little spot that I had that one yesterday up on the bank still alive when I come by? I've got another one here today. He's right out here floating. I'll get that one pulled in. Try to get this set remade, but uh, yeah, they pretty much destroyed the grass where the trail came out. I'll see what I can do. Well, I did get nature number five. You can see some of them, the ends of their tails, where they're missing. They usually come to a fine, long, right point. But these are little stubbies. They're normally like this one here. And the frostbite gets, gets their tails and gets their ears. That negative 15 degree week-long winter cold snap we had froze a lot of these things out. But... Uh, We'll get on down to the next set but you can see their dock tails and they're normally the long long tails so it's our cold winter kind of does that i've had them lose their ears and lose their tips of their tails are the first two places to freeze or, or frostbite on these things i'll get down to the next set my catch of the day, just five big nutrients over here at the swamp. 
but that's what I come over here to do is thin these things out so they're not plugging beaver sets some of them are real big I'm gonna go drop these off the house pick up Judith and go check the beaver sets wave them over at the uh, beaver property the first cast amount I'm getting to was up here by the dam the water's still flowing through the creek it's just got a lot of leaf built up from the water dropping yesterday nothing I mean I can see I can see the pan on the trap right there I'm gonna leave that cast amount alone so if a beaver does come up here they'll have to check that out but uh, the leaves the, the the water is still flowing through it and it looks like uh, nothing has been touched or if they did they just brung in some leaves and a little mud out here trying to plug this off but the water is still flowing we'll get down to my other sets and see if i picked them up down there getting down to set number two there was a caster mound here <laughs> that i made it's gone and so's the trap so i'm gonna go out here and pull the stake and see if i've held on to him but uh yeah where i had that huge mound of dirt right there and that caster mound with that alpha delta on it it's gone hopefully we've held on to it i didn't see anything but a brown beaver on a brown bottom don't always show up we'll pull out pull the stake and see if we've held on to it because the trap's gone oh <laughs> yeah looks like we got one of the problem beaver anyway but uh, i can tell from the bite that it had on its tail I don't know what got a hold of it, but the uh, the angle's wrong. Seemed like for a beaver bite, should be this radius should be the other way. But the uh, it's a great old big one. I'll get a weight on it when I get home. But back foot buried in a TS85. I will remake that caster mound. Get the beaver stored behind me get down here to my 330 sets but I say this and I'll probably go just looking uh, 47 pounds is my guess but I'll see when we get it on the scales nice beaver I have remade the caster mount starting to see where the TS 85 is bedded back where I dug out all the all the mud to put it back up there and the lure I used is my Alpha Delta caster lure. It's uh, this year's fresh batch, fresh made. Anybody needing any, contact me. You can leave a, you know, just give me a message on this video. And uh, we'll make arrangements to communicate on email. Or however, but I got some for sale. And... Uh, It'll put the beaver in the boat, I'll tell you that. It always has. We get down to the uh, 330 sets. Getting down to my 330 sets. That one wasn't fired. Nothing touched it. I do have a young beaver right there. Where I said they'd have to dive under that uh, stump or the roots to get in and out of that den. Beaver's sitting right there. I'll get him up. We'll take a look at him in a minute. Not 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 a great old big one, but uh, it is another beaver. And from the looks of things, this beaver problem around here just got a little worse. If this is the older last year's kits still running with the adults, that means they've moved back in here. That means there's probably going to be another adult, maybe another one of these last year's kits. Not quite a two-year-old. No no casters probably in the twi mid 20 probably 20 pound range wet <laughs> but uh hey it's a beaver another catch for the day two beaver out of here on this little damage control for the uh friend of mine i'll get this beaver out get the 330 reset and uh, that's it I'll take a final look when I get them back loaded in the truck so I can send a picture to the landowner. There's the two beaver catches on the tailgate. I figured I'd just go ahead and make a video clip. That's where I laid them to 
take a picture on my phone to send to the landowner. Last year's kitten and a big adult. So that's two more beaver for the pile starting off the year. So, oh, I'm gonna get out of here.